gunshot victims at the main hospital in Cap Haitian. The doctor tells us he's treating five people with injuries from real, not rubber, bullets. Some were shot in the legs and arms. This man had a bullet lodged in his face. A few streets away from the hospital, we saw a dead body dumped outside a government building. The Haitian police told us the man had been shot dead by UN soldiers in a protest Wednesday morning. Locals say UN troops opened fire on a crowd gathered outside the local cemetery where the bodies are piling up. But a spokesman for Minusta says there's been no reports of exchange of gunfire between UN peacekeepers and Haitians. He says local gang rivalry could be to blame. But the people we spoke to feel otherwise. Cholera has taken hold of this city. Haitians are forced to dig their own mass graves for loved ones. Coffins are left out in the streets. As we approached the gathering outside the cemetery, the people initially appeared hostile, unsure of who we were. The assumption is that all foreigners are from the United Nations. No one wanted to be filmed at first, but eventually they spoke to us. They want their voices heard. The crowd vented their fury at United Nations troops who they blame for the disease outbreak. Haitians want them out. They call the UN tourists who cost too much money. We would like to see Minister go. We don't want Minister in the, in the yeah, country again. You know again. why? We need the money to survive. This million dollars cannot go in the hands of Minister. The airport here at Cap Haitian is still shut down. It's been that way since Monday morning. Commercial and cargo flights can't touch down. But not only that, flights carrying valuable supplies and medical staff to help treat patients of cholera also can't get through. The national police are on high alert. Protesters lit tyres and debris in the street to create a burning barricade. And within minutes, two truckloads of armed police were on the scene. They quickly secured the area, put the flames out and moved on. Haiti is in the throes of a potentially explosive mix. Anti-UN protests, a deadly disease outbreak, ongoing fallout from the earthquake and hurricane, all during pre-election campaigning. The United Nations and the Haitian government say the election will go ahead. The people of Haiti may have other ideas. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, Cap Haitian, Haiti.